Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Larissa Noon here, Realtor with EXP Realty. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I create my real estate market graphics in Canva for Instagram and Facebook. Let's go. All right, so here we are at the Canva dashboard and we are going to be creating a design that is fit for Instagram and Facebook. And I like to do the 1080 by 1080 pixels. So go ahead and just create that canvas. Now I like to do this graphic in two parts, one being the cover page and the second being with all the metrics. And the reason for this is because aesthetic reasons. I like having a nice cover photo, which looks good on my Instagram feed rather than having a whole bunch of text, which kind of makes your feed look a little messy and that's kind of not my vibe. So this is what I do. So for your first page, you want to put an image that is relative or inspired by where you live, your town or your city. For myself, because I'm going to be doing a January themed market update, I'm going to use this photo here of the hoodoos with some snow. Yes, very fitting. And for the sake of this video, these are not going to be accurate metrics because I'm filming this in the middle of January and it's not the end of the month yet. So metrics are not out yet. So please do not come for me. Okay, thank you. All right, so go ahead and drag and drop your photo in there. And now I'm just gonna go into elements, go into lines and shape, and just grab the squares here, not that one, this one. And I'm just going to create three separate bars. So the first one being the town or city name, real estate market update, uh, and the month. All right, so once you have that complete, the text is there. Now go ahead and add in your brokerage logo and your real estate logo. All right, so that's the cover page completed. Very simple. Now let's get into the meat of this video, which is the metrics. So for here, uh, the metrics that I like to use is just just listed, how many solds, the average price of the sold homes that month, and the days on market for the sold homes that month. For this page, I'm going to be creating a header and a footer. So just go into your elements, grab the square here. You just want it to be good size, not too thick, but enough so you can put information on there. So I'm just going to duplicate this by doing command or control D, one at the top, one at the bottom. And basically for this top header here, I'm just going to be reiterating the information that was on the cover page and just putting it in this bar here. All right, now for this bottom portion here, we're gonna be adding in your contact information and your brokerage logo. Right, so now that you have your header and your footer complete, now we can add in the important metrics. So I basically like to break this into a 
quadrant, but if you have more metrics to include, go ahead and create a second page. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into elements and just type in line so I can create that quadrant. So for this upper left corner here, I like to put in new listings. Uh, over here on the right side, I put in the number of solds that month. And then in the bottom left here, I like to put in the average sold price of the residential sold homes that month. And then the days on market on the next side to the right. Right, now we're going to add in the text. So you want to put here the new listings this month, solds this month, average sold price, and average days on market. And I forgot to put in another white square for the listings and the solds because you want to put in text in there and you want it to be readable. So make sure you add those in. And now if you have your metrics, go ahead and add them in. And that is pretty much it for your real estate market update. It's very simple, very easy. Again, if you have more metrics, go ahead and add in a second page. But this is basically what mine look like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other tutorial videos here. And until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye, friends.